Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today I thought it might be fun to recreate a video that I saw recently that a beauty guru made me do it filmed. So those of you who are not familiar, that channel is actually run by Paula. She is an absolutely awesome project panner. And like me and many of those of you who are involved in the panning community, has a lot of projects going on all at once. And so she sat down and actually filmed all of the products that she's currently panning to give a little bit of perspective as to kind of the choices that she goes through every day when deciding how she wants to do her makeup. Um, and I thought it was really, really interesting. We look at all of these updates that um, are put out and they're just one singular project. And especially some of the projects that I'm involved in that are smaller in product count. For instance, my Partners in Cream project pan only has four products in it. My um, Harry Potter project pan has four products in it. And the Graveyard project pan has six products in it. Individually, you would look at those and be like, man, you should be able to roll things in and out kind of easily in a way because it seems smaller. But when you kind of look at it from a further distance and look at it in the way that it kind of sits along with the other projects, it kind of starts to make sense when I update you and I'm like, well, I got another month, a whole lot of nothing. So I just thought that it would be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead. I'm going to um, zoom you in on all of my products and we'll go ahead and we'll talk about them. All right, my friends, so here we have it. This is every bit of makeup, I think, that I am attempting to pan at this present moment. And when you see it all piled up like this, it's a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and let's break it down to see kind of how many things we have in each area that we're currently working on. So let's start with um, complexion products, I think. So I do have this itty bitty little deluxe sample size of the Too Faced Hangover RX. That is in my Always 20 in 2020 project. I also have my No Problems Primer. That is in my year-long project pan A to Z. I only have one color corrector and it is in my graveyard project pan. And I've only got one foundation and that is in my year-long project pan A to Z, which I feel like all of this so far is manageable. Over here, I do have my sunscreen that is in my year-long project pan A to Z, as well as two kind of makeup setting slash fixing sprays. Those are both in my year-long project pan A to Z as well. So kind of moving back into this area right here, this is where I have those sort of complexion products that are more color-based, I guess. So I do have um, my concealer, which is here. Um, it is in my Partners in Cream project pan, as well as this guy here. Technically, this is a highlighter. It's the Becca liquid highlighter in the shade Moonstone. I'm keeping it back here because I do mix it in with my foundation and concealer to make it a little bit more glowy. And then I've only got one powder, which is my Fenty powder in the shade Butter. This is in my A to Z project pan. So far, we're still decently manageable. I have two blushes. So I've got my cream blush here. This is the NARS Multiple in the shade Orgasm. This is in my year-long A to Z project pan, as well as this Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. I have two bronzers currently. So I've got my Butter Bronzer here, which is in my Harry Potter project pan. And then I've got my Marc Jacobs Tantastic and that is in my year-long project pan A to Z as well. Highlighters starting to get a little bit more. Um, I have three. So I have my little deluxe sample size of the Bombs Mary Luminizer. This is in my Always 20 in 2020. I have ColourPop Fire. This is in my A to Z project pan. And Becca's um, Lilac Geode, which is in my 
Which one is this one in? I think this is in my Harry Potter project pan. If I'm not mistaken, yes, yes it is. So highlighter definitely takes some time to get through, especially since I have a goal to use that one up entirely. And I think that's where not just the sheer amount that I'm panning, but also the goals that I set for myself kind of come into focus a little bit. So let's also talk a little bit about, let's just go on to lips and we'll save eyes for the last. So lips, not as out of control as it could be. I have one lip liner. This is my Stila Stay All Day Lip Liner in the shade Zinfandel. This is in my A to Z Project Pan. I have two lip glosses that are right here. So this is my Smashbox Gloss Angeles Lip Gloss in the shade Michelada. This is in my A to Z Project Pan. And then this little deluxe sample size by Becca is in my Always 20 in 2020 Project Pan. Also in the Always 20 in 2020 is this little mini Tarte um, lip product right here. I'm currently using it as a lip balm. I have two liquid lip, oh, I'm sorry. I'm also using this as a balm as well. This is the It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi um, in Your Perfect Pink. I think that's what it's called. And this is in my A to Z Project Pan. I have two bullet lipsticks that are right here. I've got Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria and Lancome in the shade Kiss Smile Shine and two liquid lipsticks. This one here by Marc Jacobs in Hot Cocoa. This is in my Partners in Cream Project Pan. And then this little mini guy here, this is by Bite Beauty. This is their amuse-bouche liquefied lipstick in the shade Whip. This is in my Graveyard Project Pan. Yes, Graveyard Project Pan. Now we get into the eye category. Um, we have one mascara right here. This is in my Always 20 in 2020 Project Pan. This is a deluxe sample size of the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. I have one eye base. That is my MAC um, Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And then I've got a couple of cream or three cream eyeshadows. So we've got Hourglass um, Scattered Light in the shade Reflect, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kush, and then my Moon Crystal by Kaja in the shade Tiger's Eye. This is in my A to Z Project Pan. This is in Graveyard Project Pan. This is in my Partners in Cream Project Pan. We've also got three eyeshadow palettes right here. So we have this one here by NYX. We have Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then the one on the bottom is the um, Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Each of these palettes has a shade that I'm working on in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. The same is true for this guy back here. This is by Tarte. I always refer to it as the Origami Palette. This also has a shade that I'm currently working on in my Pan Those Eyeshadows. I'm missing one. Oh, I am missing one. Hold tight. We also have a shade from my Tartlet Toasted Palette that is in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. Just gonna go ahead and set these off to the side even though I'm sorry, I know you can't see them over here. Um, I do have one eyeshadow that I'm working on out of this Tarte palette as well for my Graveyard Project Pan and then this single I'm currently working on in my A to Z Project Pan. Finally, over here in this little sort of section here, I'm going to be counting this as more of an eye base than anything. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Iced Mocha. I have two other actual eyeliners. Come here, you guys. These are both in my year-long project pan A to Z, as well as this um, eyebrow pencil that is currently in my graveyard project pan. 
And then finally, I don't think I talked about this right here. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner in the shade Starfire. This is in my Harry Potter, Harry Potter Project Pan as well. So, how many makeup products am I panning is the big question. So, let's see here. We have... Forty-three. I am panning forty-three makeup products at this moment, which is a lot. <laughs> wow. All right. So I know for me. That was eye-opening, 43 makeup products, like, that's crazy. I know that when I decide whether or not I'm gonna participate in a project and once I've decided that I want to and I'm sitting down choosing my products, I really do try to look at everything that I'm currently panning so that I don't end up with like 25 lip products, for example, because there's just no way for me to work through those in a consistent manner which is kind of funny when you say that because if I take an even further step back out and I look at it in relationship to the entirety of my collection we won't talk about that <laughs> um, but yeah so 43 is a lot but you know, when I look at each kind of breakdown, yes, I've only got one foundation. I've only got two bronzers. I've got, you know, three highlights and things like that. I try to look at it in a way that I'm not overwhelming myself in one individual category. But the thing to also consider is that a lot of those are long haul sort of products. When I started, especially my A to Z, most of those products were pretty darn full and so you know there is progress but it's not always the really exciting like yeah i hit gold yeah i hit pan and all that kind of stuff which trust me i would love it <laughs> if there was but I don't know. I thought it was kind of a fun video to do. I would love to know what are your thoughts. Was this an interesting video for you or is something that you were just like, okay, yeah, whatever. And if so, are you like me? Are you involved in multiple projects and really thinking about, you know, all of your products put together? And if you are going to do a video like this, please let me know. I would love to see kind of how many products altogether you're working on. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.